Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Elder Millennial Video Games channel. Uh, I am back from my European vacation. It did not go as planned, and we ended up actually cutting it short. Uh, we got there, and we got sick while we were there, and uh, we're mostly over it now, like no fevers or anything like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm feeling really sinusy, so I apologize in advance if I'm coughing a lot during this uh, video or like sniffling, that sort of thing. I, I've always had bad like seasonal allergies and sinus issues, so I'm just coping with that. Uh, but yeah, so the vacation ended up being uh, not, not as great as we had planned. Uh, however, I'm back and... Today is Tuesday, well, the time I'm uh, filming this is Tuesday, October 17th. And yesterday, uh, we got a new staple release of Bonacera. So, Bonacera 38 was officially released uh, as of yesterday. And I went ahead and uh, just used the uh, upgrade utility that's available in uh, the emulation station uh, part of Bonacera, which is if you go to... Uh, I'm, I'm using an Xbox controller, so I'm going to hit start and uh, go, to, go to updates and downloads. Make sure you're on, you're on the stable channel and hit start update. And uh, it should uh, go out to the internet, find the update for you, and uh, give you the option to install it. Uh, so far, everything I've tested after the upgrade is still working. Uh, I even went ahead and ran the uh, Switch updater to update uh, Yuzu and uh, the other Switch emulators, Ryujinx, etc. And uh, they worked fine before I updated them, and they worked fine after I updated them with this version, so... Uh, everything seemed good. The only thing I encountered that did not work were my PS Vita games. And all I had to do was, uh, you know, from, from here, hit F1 and go to the applications menu and run the Vita emulator from there and just reinstall the firmware. Uh, I didn't, I didn't use a new firmware. I just used the same one I already had. Uh, but just reinstalling that firmware, uh, made everything work again with the Vita. And so far, that's the only problem I've encountered. Uh, like, my PS2 games, my PS3 games all ran uh, just fine. And I started looking at some of the things that were new in this version of Botticera. And uh, one of the things that I noticed was that they've included uh, the Play emulator. Uh, it's, a, it's an option for PS2 games now. Uh, so if you go in... Uh, let's look at advanced system options. You'll see you can now choose LibRetro PCX2, PCSX2, <coughs> or LibRetro Play. And you can also do this on a per game basis. Uh, I think I was testing with Tales of the Abyss. And let's go ahead and choose Play. I've got it set to Vulcan, but uh, I'll set it to Auto, because whether it's uh, Vulcan or not, I saw the same issue here. Now, with the Play Emulator, it skips the, like, intro thing the PS2 does. Oh, uh, but that right there. And that may be the only place I haven't really played it in depth, but that little graphical glitch there is enough for me to go, I don't know that I necessarily want to play my PS2 games with the Play emulator yet. Uh, <coughs> because, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, because if I do it with just the PCSX2 emulator, see we get the intro screen here, the boot up uh, thing with the PS2, uh, but you'll Hello. Let me exit out of this. 
That was interesting. Let me actually select PCSX2. <coughs> huh. It wasn't doing this before. Did I change something else? Because it should work on auto. Let's put you on auto. I think I might have just messed around with the settings between the game and the system. And that, I think, might have caused some issues. So I got everything back on auto now, so it should default to PCSX2. <coughs> so yeah, let that be a lesson. Just be careful mucking around with the settings. And make sure you know that you can change everything back. See, uh, with PCSX2... We don't have that graphical glitch. And I'm going to assume because there's a graphical glitch on that part at the beginning that there are probably other graphical glitches uh, when using the play emulator. And I'm assuming that they'll probably be present on games other than this one. So for now, I'm going to stick with PCSX2 for my PS2 games. Uh, but another new thing I was really excited about uh, was the... Uh, Play, the Play Emulator also has support for Namco System 246 and 256 games. So if you load those ROM files in somewhere in here, I'll probably go past it. Uh, there it is. We'll have Namco... System 246 slash 256 games. <coughs> so this does actually use the Play Emulator. I've only got a couple of games loaded in there uh, because I've spent uh, most of this morning trying to figure out how to get them to work. Uh, right now, uh, this wrestling game here uh, is uh, working fine. This one works fine as well, but currently does not. I just want to show you an example of uh, what it failing looks like, or might look like. Yeah, so we get a fail to find tef1dvd0.chd. Uh, I'm just going to call those chad files. Uh, so we can't find the chad file in games directory. So I'm going to go ahead and alt f4 to get out of this a couple of times. It should... Exit after a second now. It take me back to Botticera. Okay, good. <coughs> so I want to show you. Uh, give me one second here. I'm going to switch over to uh, a console where I can just SSH to my Bodicera system. All right. Hopefully this captures okay. I tried to make the text a little bit larger in this console window, but I am SSH'd into my Bodicera system. And as you can see here, uh, OS version is 38C. That's the stable version of Bodicera 38. And you can see all my other system specs here. Nothing too fancy. <coughs> the only thing not here, I think, is that I am running a uh, 6600 XT graphics card, so I'm not relying on the uh, 5700G graphics. Uh, but what I want to do is, let's first take a look. There's a directory, and I just want to change into it. User, share... 
arcade deaths. Now this was put here by default and the contents was put here by default. Uh, but let's just take a look for example at Tekken 4's arcade definition. So the files of importance to us that it's going to be looking for are this TEF3VERC.IC002 and this TEF1DVD0.chad. Uh, so we want to at least uh, make sure that we have both of these files available. And for the formatting of it, well, let's just take a look. Let's go into uh, user data, ROMs, and you're gonna you're gonna want to put the ROM files into the Namco 2x6 directory. So if we look here, I've got a couple of files already and a folder. But first off, let's take a look at the info.txt. So it says the play it says ROM file extensions accepted dot zip. So they've you've got to have a dot zip, or it's not going to show up in the uh, emulation uh, emulation station menu. You won't see that you have any games there. So it's got to be a dot zip, and these instructions say uh, the play emulator provides work in progress support for Namco two four six and two five six systems. Currently, you will need a high-performance system to be able to emulate supported games. We recommend using the OpenGL API for now. Uh, this ROM directory should include a zip file based on the arcade ID and a supporting folder with the associated .chad file. Uh, and their example is, for Tekken 4, you'd have Tekken4.zip, and that would contain a Tekken 4 folder which would contain uh, the chad file. And as this for more info, check out uh, the Botticera wiki. Uh, however, uh, because it just got released, I don't think this page is ready. If you go to this page, you're going to get a permission denied message. So there's nothing there yet that's available to the public. Uh, but I was still curious, so I wanted to figure this out. So... What I have in my Tekken 4 zip is exactly this. Uh, Tekken 4.zip, uh, which contains a Tekken 4 folder, which contains uh, the chat file. I also have the IC002 file in there, and whatever other files uh, were with the ROM I downloaded for Tekken 4. But I think at the bare minimum, you need the chat file, and even though this doesn't say it, also the IC002 file. This this, uh, I think, is a little wrong, because you saw it did not work uh, before. <coughs> so what I ended up doing was actually downloading the Play Emulator onto my Windows machine so I could get a little more familiar with how it operated and what it was looking for. And uh, that allowed me to actually get this working here. Uh, but these instructions just aren't completely accurate. And I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm gonna clear my clear my screen. Uh, okay, so let's get Tekken 4 working. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let's unzip Tekken 4. Let's see what's in there. Okay, so I think uh, these two files are the only ones you really need to be in there, uh, but the rest of these were in the ROM file that I downloaded, so I just I was in a hurry, so I just packed them all in, but I think at the very least the chat file and the IC002 file. And they need to match the names of the chat file and IC002 file that are in the arcade definition. Remember, that's back under user, USR, slash share, slash arcade defs.
the name of your zip file should also match the name of the arcade defs file. So uh, the particular file that we have in that user share arcade defs folder is called Tekken 4 uh, dot, I think, arcade def or whatever. So the, the first part of that, the Tekken 4, that's going to be the name of our zip file. So we extracted all that. Let's see what we got. <coughs> okay, so here's the next important part. Uh, and you'll notice the files got extracted uh, right into the same directory. That's because inside this zip file, uh, I just have these files zipped up to this. I don't have a Tekken 4 folder inside of the zip that then contains these. You don't want to create a folder inside of the zip. You just want to take your chat file, your IC002 file, um, and zip those up as Tekken 4.zip. So, we look back at the info.txt. You want Tekken 4.zip, and you want it con to contain the chad file, and uh, it, and also the IC002 file. You want it to have that too, so when you extract it on your Botticera system, it'll, it'll have both those files. Uh, but you don't want this Tekken 4 folder inside the zip. You just want the zip, and immediately inside the zip, you want the chad file and the IC002 file. Hopefully uh, that makes sense to everybody. Then, well, what I'm going to do, and you can have all this pre-prepared before you even transfer it uh, to your Botticera system, but what I'm going to do now, real quick, uh, is I'm going to make a directory uh, with the same name from the arcade definition file, which is just Tekken 4 all together like that. And now I'm going to move all those files that it unzipped. Uh... Zero dot chad df three b r c dot i c zero zero two uh and I'm gonna put those inside of my new Tekken four directory that I've just made. And I'm gonna get rid of uh We get rid of those files because right, I don't think we need them. Uh, okay, so at this point, we'll look at Tekken 4 directory. It's got that. Yeah, so you absolutely have to have the zip file that right underneath that just directly contains your chad and your IC002 file. Then you want to extract those into a folder that also, right underneath that folder, contains uh, the chad and IC002 files. <coughs> Once you've done that, uh, real quick, we're going to switch back over to our Botticera system. And we're going to do an update games list. And now, let's see what happens if we try to run Tekken 4. Before we got an error, but now we've got it set up properly, so it looks like it's going to work. And right here, it just, it does take a moment, so just do what it says, and please wait.
Now, uh, if you want to start it, uh, the uh, on my Xbox controller, uh, what would be the select button? And then you, then you can hit the uh, start button after that. It's like inserting a coin or whatever, and then starting the game. Uh, the directional pad uh, works for, uh, and the face buttons seem to work okay uh, by default. Uh, again, keep in mind this is. Uh, work in progress, so I would not expect everything to work perfectly smoothly uh, with the Play Emulator and the Namco uh, System 246 and 256 games. I have a lot more in my collection to uh, actually get zipped up properly and uploaded, so I'll be uh, testing those out as soon as I get a chance. I also don't know how to play this game, so you have to forgive my awful gameplay here. I'm kind of just button mashing. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. Use the hotkey and start, uh, which should exit out of it. Uh, yeah, so basically that is how you get the uh, Namco 246-256 games up and running. Uh, or at least how I've been able to do it. Uh, just remember, uh, your zip file, make sure it doesn't contain a folder inside of it. It just has the Chad file and the IC002 file from the arcade definition. Uh, and then make sure also, once it's in the user data ROMs Namco 2x6 folder, to extract it there and then put the contents into a folder also named for the arcade definition for the game you're wanting to play. Uh, once the zip file and the folder are in there, in your ROMs directory, the game should become playable. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's just what I've been able to figure out so far uh, with getting the Namco system 246 and 256 games to run. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would uh, give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've got more updates coming, uh, more things related to the new Bonacera 38. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you on the next one.